Hey guys, it's Liz from Blue and Hazel. Today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite games for uh, preschool and kindergarten math. And it can go even beyond that uh, from ages about three to eight or older. It's called Tiny Polka Dot. And we use this probably more than any of the other math games in our cupboard for the early years. It is so versatile and I'm gonna show you some of the games that we play with it. So it's a math game. And as you can see, it comes with a bunch of cards. Some of them are going to be um, in 10 frames. Some of them are random looking, some of them are numbers, and they're all zero to 10. It comes with a bunch of little cards here, you can see, that tell you the age range for them. So this one says age six plus two to six players. Yeah, so there's actually 16 different games you'll see on here. This I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the games that we like to play and how fun and easy they are. Um, from the preschool and kindergarten years. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more homeschool videos. This is what comes inside of Tiny Polka Dot and whenever we play, we pretty much sort all of the cards as you see them now because um, we're gonna need to grab certain like piles of colors depending on the game that my preschooler or kindergartner wants to play. Just starting with this one, Hungry Numbers. It says to grab purple, teal, and blue, zero to five. So I would come through here and I would grab purple, teal, and blue, only the numbers zero to five. Then what you do is it says, arrange the purple number cards from zero to five. Mix the other cards together face up. Then we feed the numbers, the numerals, the dot cards, one at a time. Each numeral only eats cards with that many dots. So the two will eat only cards with two dots on them and play until all the dot cards have been eaten. Now, this sounds so simple, but I can tell you this is one of my son's favorite games. How we would set it up would be just like this. So I would mix these two together, just like that. Um, my child would be over there and they would flip over this card and we would make a funny crunchy eating sound like om nom 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 nom. And so he would put the zero under the zero and then flip another one one and he would find the right card and recognize this goes under here and it has to eat it um, nom, 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 nom. he loves making that sound and when we giggle and laugh he thinks it's so fun he would find this one and he would have to count and then he would recognize that that was a match and nom, 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 nom. he just thinks it's so fun you can see they're learning number recognition they're learning to match numbers they're learning what the 10 frame looks like and that is just one of the 16 games. And so on the back, I'll show you another game. This one's really fun. This is called Match the Dots. So we would take teal and blue, zero to four. So no more purples, get rid of those. Typically, I feel like the attention span is two games. So like front and back game, and then we put it away while things are still fun. Okay. so. Teal and blue only, zero to four. We would take turns matching pairs with the same numbers. He would come in here and he would say, oh, there's the match, and then he would stick it over in his pile. And I would go and I'd say, okay, here's a four, where's the match? And one way to get them a little bit more math practice is to simply just ask them to help you find it. Like, where's the four? Can you find the four for me? And then he'll point it out. Yay, I got a match. Okay, let me show you some of the other games that are on here. Um, Dot Memory, that's a really fun game where we would use teal, blue, orange, and purple, and we would um, only use the number zero to three unless you wanted it to be a little bit harder, you could go higher. That's one way that you can make the game um, better for bigger kids. Deal out all the cards face down, and then you flip the cards over. So let me show you what that looks like here. Okay, so for dot memory, age four plus, so it's a little bit harder, we would use those cards and deal them out face down. According to the directions, you know the good old-fashioned game of memory. You take turns flipping two cards, and if the cards match, keep them and go again. So three and one, not a match, flip them over. Then they would go 
and they would flip two and three, not a match. And then we'd say, oh, I remember seeing a three. Where was that three right here? It's a match. Okay, so then you'd take it off. For the game Power Dot here on the other side, we're going to take teal, blue, orange, and purple, zero to five. Mix the cards and split into equal piles. Everyone turns over the top card in their pile. Whoever has the highest number wins. And so you can see I turned over a two, my son would have turned over a one and I would get to keep it. Now we would go again. So we'd both flip over the number here. He'd have a two, I'd have a zero and I would let him recognize who gets to keep it. They're learning to recognize which number is greater. Okay, and then idea for future games, how to make it harder, include larger numbers or use the entire deck. Okay, so for the next game on here, you can see we have dot tens ages five and older. What we have to do is get cards zero to 10 from teal and blue, deal out all cards face up and take turns matching pairs that have 10 dots between them. There's also a game called dot five where we're matching what adds up to five. And the one right now for my kindergartner that actually is perfect for him is matching the dots that add up to five. So we'll use only zero to fives in here and it's just his speed. I would grab the one and I would be looking for a match um, from the teal side. Okay, I'm looking for one and a nine. So I'd say, oh, there's the match right there. Um, my son would go and then he would pick a card, say he found um, four, then we'd have to figure out what the match is in the teal, and then he would find the six and he would have a match. Dot five, that's the other one that I was describing. That's a little bit easier where you're using only zero to five. Okay, so for the next um, game here, we have Power Dot Pro, uh, teal, blue, orange, and purple, zero to five. Mix the cards and split into equal piles. A player says a number, like two, everyone turns up that many cards. Whoever has the highest sum wins and keeps all the cards. So you can see at this age in this game, you're gonna start with some addition. Okay, so say it was my turn and I said, two, then everybody would turn over two cards. And so my son would have to add two plus four and he would say six. And then I would say one plus five equals six. And then it looks like it's a tie. And um, it says, if players tie for the highest sum, put all the cards into the middle and, tr and tying players play another round. So we would, stick these over here and we do it again. Say I said three cards this time, then we would add up three cards and he would flip over three cards and they would say three plus four plus zero is seven. And then I would say two plus one plus three is six. And so he would win all of these cards and we would start again. And to make it a little harder for future games, include larger numbers or use the entire deck. Here's another game on the back. I've not actually played this game before. It is kind of like a shuffly number game. Another one, dot 10 memory. And this you're going to use teal and blue zero to 10. And so it's just like dot five memory, except for now it's going to be dot 10 anything, any two that you flip over that add up to 10. And dot five memory, this is going to be a memory match game for ages five and older. And this is three plus two equals five, so that's a match. Um, my son loves to play this game. The one thing that is a little tricky sometimes is he's looking for an identical match, like three and three. And so we have to kind of work on learning um, in just changing our idea of what a match is. So I'll show you here, ages seven and older, we're getting harder and harder. So we have um, the puzzle is going to be orange and blue, 
zero to 10, use exactly 10 cards to make a pyramid, so each number is the sum of the two below it. Here's another game, Pyramid Puzzle 2 with purples. Arrange 10 cards to make a pyramid so that each number is different than the two below it. We have um, 15's Go Fish, 15 Supreme, and 31. I have not played these games for the seven and older, but I should because my um, second grader who's seven and a half would probably love to play this. But this has mostly been um, a game that we have played with my preschooler last year who's now a kindergartner, and it gives them such a fun way to practice math. Um, and then I can just personally say my son asks to play this game more than he asks to play any other game. It's kind of like our special one-on-one -on -one time of things that he knows he can play special with mama. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe for more homeschool videos.